guys, I am so excited to be doing this look for you today because I'm going to be using none other than dun, 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 the Sigma Paris palette. It's a limited edition palette. Myself, along with six other beauty gurus here on YouTube, we helped develop this. We even went to Paris last year, and now here it is, months in the making. It's just so exciting. Words can't even express. All seven of us are listed back here. Let me show you the shade that I helped develop. It's this one right here, Notre Dame. Love it, and it is the one that I'm wearing on my lids. This palette does come with two brushes. There is also a pamphlet, which I will talk all about along with the development of all of this, everything that went into this in a separate vlog, show you all the pictures and everything that's in here. So check that out if it's not out already. If it is, I'll link it up here and down below. But I'm going to do this look for you today, so stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy it. First, we're going to start off with foundation. I often like to mix two because that way I get the best of both worlds when it comes to different finishes. And I'm also often in between shades, so that way I get a better color match. So I'm just smoothing that across my face using a flat top kabuki. Blend it into the hairline as well as down to the neck. And if you want more coverage, you could always stipple more foundation on in certain areas. Now you gotta love under eye circles. Let's brighten them up a little. I'm using a light salmon colored concealer and just smoothing that underneath my eyes. You could always use your fingers to pat it in or a brush. And what I'm using is a synthetic medium angled shading brush. Using a small angled brush and a powder, I'm just going to define my brows and deepen them up. In swift and small strokes, just apply it, give it some shape at the bottom, and then just fill in the rest. Now we're going to use an eye primer so that our eye makeup lasts even longer, and it's also going to give a base so that the shadows have something to adhere to. So apply that underneath the eyes as well and smooth everything out. The first shadow we're going to go into is Notre Dame, which is a taupe color with a purple undertone and a golden sheen. And I'm just going to use the eye shading brush that comes in the palette and just pat that on. I'm going to build it up to about a couple layers and just bring it up high enough so that we can see it when I open my eyes. And now we're going to go into Triumph using a tapered blending brush. And this is a duochrome color. I like it because it has a warm undertone and it's going to help warm up my eyes. And I'm just applying it in the natural contour of my eyes and just softly blend it through. You don't have to apply very much pressure at all. So I'm just applying that and then shaping it the way that I want it. Now I'm just going to take a matte shade, something that's lighter, and just blend out the edges using a large fluff brush. Next we're going to go into Eiffel the Black Shadow using a pencil brush, and we're going to define the outer V section of the eye to give it more definition and we're going to just line it across the lash line first, tapering it as you go inwards, and then drawing the other section in, just to shape that outer V area first, and then you can softly blend that out just a little bit. But don't want to blend too much of it out so that there's still a nice contrast between that dark shade and the lid shade. So just softly blur out the edges. Next, let's go into Sane, which is a gorgeous deep blue color using an angled shading brush, and we're going to just apply that on top of the black and just go past the edges as well, as well as blend it further in than we did with the black. So this is just going to be a nice transitioning effect and we already have a nice dark base underneath it. So just apply that along and just bring it further past than we did with the black. We're going to go back with that tapered blending brush and just soften up the edges and I want to keep it rather defined looking so I'm not going to soften it up too much 